Hey, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm going to be doing a product review of the newest thing from Beauty Blender, which is their foundation. Now everyone has been obsessed with Beauty Blender sponges. I am definitely not an exception. And I was really excited when they came out with the foundation because I'm like, yo, if this can change my life, I think maybe this could change my life too. Now I know that there's been controversy with this foundation regarding the shade selections for darker shades and I completely agree. I think Beauty Blender can do better and should do better and I hope that within the next couple of months they develop more products and expand their line. Because everyone deserves to find a foundation that matches with their skin tone. So I got the shade 1.30. Hopefully. It is my shade, so we'll see. I wanna say that timestamps are in the description below if there's a specific piece of information that you're looking for. I got you guys, and I also wanna say that welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys, let's get cracking. So the packaging is really, really nice. It feels very gloss and luxurious. Now you do get one fluid ounce, which is pretty good. I think you press down here and product comes out and you can use your beauty blender to get some product on your face. Now first up I'm going to put some concealer on and then I will get to the foundation review. Alright that's done. Now on to putting on this foundation. First we are supposed to put this at a 45 degree angle. Oh wait, first we have to turn it on <laughs> and at a 45 degree angle. So like this, totally was messy and then you dip your beauty blender up in there and now it's time to beauty blend your face so I want to tell you guys that I have mainly dry skin it is slightly combination but for the most part it's dry I did read reviews that this is actually really good with dry skin from like reviews I saw in Sephora so that is why I am checking this out and saying is it really good for dry skin So I got this color because it said that it had warm yellow undertones, which is like what I have. And it's like, I think light skin or it said fair skin. So I just want to say that this, this foundation glides so well with the Beauty Blender and it feels really good on my skin. It doesn't really feel heavy or anything like that. But at the same time, a little bit of product goes a long way. I only squirted it two times, just a little bit, and it was able to completely give me full coverage bam like instantaneously which is awesome so i am going to complete my look and then give you guys a close-up of my skin <sighs> by the way if my lighting was really weird in the last couple of minutes i realized that it was a little bit too light so hopefully i was able to fix it in post so as of right now i'm really loving how this foundation works i think it glided on very easily it was super easy to finish my makeup look. It's super full coverage without requiring a lot of product. I'm gonna show you some close-ups of my face. So, I am gonna be wearing this foundation for the rest of the day, so I'm gonna see how it is and how it goes in terms of long wearing. I'm not getting any caking or creasing right now. Hopefully it withstands the test of time. I will let you guys know, but so far, so good. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in. It is towards the end of the night, and I wanted to say that this foundation is performing very well. It's not really creasing in any part of my skin, and it is long wearing AF. So I think that I can safely say that this works pretty well with dry skin. And I just wanted to tell you guys that, that I was also outside in intense humidity because I live in Miami, Florida and it had just rained. So it's like the worst time to go out. And it held up the whole entire time. Actually, it even sprinkled a little bit and my makeup is still 
working out for me so yeah so I feel like I can safely recommend this I think that it works really well it's definitely one of my favorite foundations if not my favorite foundation that I've ever put on so that concludes my video I hope you guys found it super informational and if you did give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and I also want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the beauty blender foundation have you tried it out what's your experience with it and again, if you guys have a very similar skin tone to me, I use the shade 1.30 for those wondering. And I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.